Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at three World of Warcraft Caverns of Time treasure packs. Uh, there are nine cards in each pack and they all should be foils. So let's see what's inside these, see what we get. These were put out by Cryptozoic. Uh, they took over after Upper Deck dropped the card game. Uh, they did a really good job, I thought, with it. So let's see if these maintain their quality. Let's see if I, if I can open the stupid packaging. Ah. Alright, these are from the Cavern of the Caverns of Time raid deck. They put out these packs so people could try and collect the whole set without having to buy a bunch of raid decks. Um, I think that was a genius idea, and I wish more people had done it. So inside here, we've got a sealed pack with nine cards. And let's see what they look like. Alright, first up we have a March of the Treants. It is foiled, uh, which means I love it already. Spy of Kilrog. Uh, reverse Polarity. There are 70 foils in this set. So that means you're going to be buying a lot of these if you're looking to complete the whole thing. Icy Impediment. Shattering Strike. Flame Soul Weapon. Uh, Death, Ro Death Row Hands Ceremonial Hammer. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Get Down. This is an ability instant protection. Target armor you control can prevent damage that would be dealt to allies you control this turn. Hmm. And Breastplate of the Queen's Guard. So that looks pretty good. Let's see what our rare is here. Should be a rare in here. Yeah, we got a blue. The ceremonial hammer is a blue. A couple of commons. Yeah, it looks like there's two uncommons and one rare. And the rest are commons. Or, uh, yeah. Can't talk. Alright, let's get to our second pack here. Alright, first up we have a March of the Treants. So we've already got a duplicate. Lights Embrace. Grievous Wounds. Ooh, double the damage on each opposing ally. That's pretty cool. Uh, Umbral Assault. Freeze Out. Up to three target resources can't ready during their controller's next ready step. It's pretty handy. Mass revival. Put the three target allies from your graveyard into your hand. That's real nice. Uh, we, our rare is choker of serrated blades. Looks like everybody can use this one. Sight emitters play with three blade counters, and does a whole bunch of stuff. All right, our uncommon Puroths aren't. Parathian's Belt. And the other uncommon is Raging Earth Elemental to Totem. Alright, that's pretty cool. Let's look at this one that's in the Don't Steal Me packaging. In case you want to see the back of that. It's got a big sketchy guy on it. You can still find these packs sealed, but they are getting to be pretty expensive and pretty hard to find. So be prepared to pay $10 or more for them. If you can find them cheaper than that, um, good job, buy them up. Because the, they seem to go for between 10 and 15 as of this recording in 2017. Uh, early set 2017. 
All these are of course subject to change, but you can still see them on eBay occasionally. Uh, you may have to buy a whole box of them for that matter. Let's get these out of the way and see what we got here. Uh, Spy of Kilrog. We've got a Dark Flame. A Freeze Out. A couple duplicates. Dirty Distraction. What's this one do? Exhaust each opposing ally and equipment with cost four or less. These cards can't ready during their controller's next ready step. Next we've got a Sun Hoof Consecrator. Then we've got a Hellfire Encased Pendant as our rare. Ooh, tap your hero deals one fire damage to target hero for each fire ally you control. Uh, oh, yeah, got, got a loot card here. It's a red one. Vicious Grell. If this ally would be destroyed on an opponent's turn, you may pay one if you do return to his owner's hand instead. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now, at the bottom of these, they say Cavern Treasure. And this one says Crown Loot, one of three. So be aware of that. They'll have it in red, and it'll say crown loot on the bottom. It'll have the same symbol, but the wording is different. Uh, that might help you spot counterfeits. Alex is Kandar. And lastly, Katu Lion's Claw. Those are our uncommons. So we got a loot card instead of uh, and a rare. We got a rare and a loot card. That's pretty awesome. I'm real happy about that. So, that's uh, kind of an example of what you can get in Caverns of Time treasure packs from World of Warcraft. These are put out by Cryptozoic, remember? Upper Deck no longer had the license for them. So, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. As always, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time on What's Inside.